This tutorial is on how to splice up images in Photoshop and then export them into and edit them in Dreamweaver. So what we have here is a template that I've already mocked up and I've just put this together using Illustrator actually and then exported it to Photoshop in order to get it as a bitmap which is what you need if you're going to put anything on the web. I've already spliced it up into a certain number of sections so if you go under here you've got um, a crop tool, slice tool and slice select tool. So if you have a look here I've got certain slices already put aside just for expediency. So I've got all of my navigation mapped out, some areas above my navigation because I want that amount of space above it. I don't have my logo here or the title here done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the slice tool and just select that. That adds another slice there and select this here which adds another slice there. So my entire website now is broken up into slices. Now what I'm going to do is going to save for web and devices and what this allows me to do is actually optimize each one of my images because for images like these, this one here, the logo, a GIF is definitely the way to go because GIF saves simple images, line drawings much much better than a JPEG format. Same with the titles and even here with my buttons with the lines around them. Now one thing that JPEG does save better is photos. So this is probably an example here. They've got some decent lines but there's more colours available. JPEG would generally make that a bit look a bit better. So what you can do is if you change it to JPEG, generally you can actually um, have a look at that and see the difference between that and the GIF version. So not that much difference, but in a photo you would definitely have a lot of difference there. Once you've done that, just hit save and we are going to save optimize as it's going to be a home page. So I'm going to call it index. I am going to put it in documents. I've done the bottom to website and I'm going to save it here. Now I'm going to make sure here that it doesn't say images only because what that will do is um, create a folder with a whole heap of images in it and nothing else or HTML only which saves your layout and not your images. I'm going to make sure it says here HTML and images and hit save. At the moment I've already got a file there. I'm going to replace it because I know that that's not actually what I want there. So now when I go to my documents and I scroll right down to my website. What I have here is um, an images folder and that images folder should have a collection of all of my images. So if you have a look that's my logo and then there's my navigation there as well. All of my bits and pieces. You'll notice a whole heap of spacer images as well which are the white bits that weren't selected so they've actually been selected as images. If I go back, what I can do is I can select the index file here and if I right click on it, I can open it with Dreamweaver. Now I have CS4, um, you guys have CS3, but there's not really that much differences in Dreamweaver. So if you have a look here, what it's done is saved each one of these images here as an image independent of the others. And what I can do here is if I've got my home here, I can actually now go down here and link that by typing in the link there so that then becomes a link. So I can edit my page and do other things with it. Oh, one thing, terrible. If you get this here where you've got the blue border around your images because it's a link, all you need to do is under the property here that says border just set that at zero so that you can't see it. Okay, one thing that you might want to know is if you want to have a contact link, you can actually set that as a mail to link. So what I can type in my link component here is mail to and a colon and then my web, my web address, so shortcomp at gmail.com. That's me. When I preview that, so I'm going to preview it in Firefox because I am a Firefox user, the home links here become links so if you have a look down the bottom they actually links and my contact list here what that does if it's a mail to link it should open up 
whatever my standard email program is. So mine, I think, is iMail. 